Do you think the universe has a beautiful, clean, when you show up and meet God and there's one equation on the board <laughs> and the two of you just chuckle, <laughs> do you think such equation exists? Yeah, there are, there are such equations. For instance, let's say I am interested in a particular question, right? So in the language program, say, so uh, mo moving away from physics, so let's talk about math. So in, in the context of language program, I have recently developed with my co-authors, Ettingoff and Kashdan, and kind of a new fr uh, strand, a new flavor of the language program, if you will. But so far, it's a sort of, it's a vision. It's a set of conjectures, which we have proved in some cases, but not in full generality. So yes, I would like to, to use your framework, for me, the creator, mm -hmm. and ask her, <laughs> What is the explanation of this? Mm -hmm. And it may well be that she will answer in a way that I will, I will just burst out laughing. It's like, how could we not see it? Mm -hmm. You see? So that I totally see. But I don't see one equation governing one, one equation governing them all. Not one equation to govern them all, but it does seem that such equations exist where she will tell you something and you look back and say, how could I not see it? It seems like the, the truth at the end of the day is simple that we're seeking, especially through mathematics. Mm. It seems somehow simple. The, the the nature of reality, the thing that governs it seems to be simple. I wonder why that is. And I also wonder if it's not totally incorrect and we're just craving the simplicity. And then mixing into the whole conversation about how much the observer that craves simplicity is part of the answer. Mm. <laughs> It's a whole big giant mess. Or a whole a whole big beautiful painting or symphony. 